Hello, everyone, and um, thanks for joining my session today. Um, t today, I will talk about the tools for better um, testing for open source projects. Um, and in this talk, I will use OpenStack as an example to introduce the approach and the tools uh, used for OpenStack community for testing and uh, to explore how an open source uh, project can do QA in upstream and how open source projects can use tools uh, to improve their QA process uh, and the potential benefit it can provide. Uh, first, introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dong Ma. Uh, currently living living in Beijing, China. Uh, I'm working for Holy Packard Enterprise as software engineer, uh, mainly focus on the free and uh, open source software development. Um, I have been an active uh, technical contributor to OpenStack uh, project since the OpenStack library release circle. Uh, I'm also the co-reviewer of the OpenStack subunit to circle project. Um, currently, I'm working for Holy Packer Enterprise uh, OpenStack team. Uh, mainly focus on the Jenkins uh, OpenStack CI and uh, the QA part, the, uh, the upstream contribution. Uh, I also uh, work for the Forsology project as a co-contributor be before. It's an open source le license analysis tools. Uh, Um, quick, quick review what I want to talk today. Uh, first, I will quickly introduce uh, the, what's the QA and uh, why are they important for open source um, projects. And uh, second, I will introduce what's the OpenStack QA. Um, and the next, uh, to introduce some tools for better testing in OpenStack. Um, at the last, I will introduce how to leverage uh, the OpenStack way in your open source projects. Uh, okay, uh, what's QA? Um, I think most of the software developer or engineer is very familiar with this word. Um, the QA is short for the quality assurance. Um, it's a way uh, of preventing mistakes or defects in the manufacturer products uh, and uh, to avoiding some uh, problems when delivering some uh, solutions or service to the customers. Uh, which the ISO 9000 defines as um, part of the quality management focus on providing confidence that uh, quality requirements will be fulfilled. And uh, for the software de development, most of the QA is mainly for the testing things, uh, like all kind of test, unit test, uh, integrated test, functional test. Uh, also for the tools and the process to automate the testing and the tools to analyze the, and report the test result. Um, so why the QA is important for open source project? Um, so for the traditional Q, QA uh, software development, uh, it makes the, like the commercial uh, software uh, in stable and uh, rapid uh, successful. Um, under the traditional software development uh, model, software quality assurance is to 
constituted the set of systematic activities uh, providing evidence of the ability of software uh, to generate the software pro product that is fit to use. Um, I think the traditional uh, QA is dedicated with the uh, one one team or group to uh, work on that. And uh, for example, uh, to investigate the effectiveness of the reviews and the efficiency of the uh, test technicals. Um, but however, for the quality assurance in the open source project, uh, it's not abundant um, or not uh, uh, well supported. Um, as for the open source project, uh, mm, all the source code is uh, available for for all the contributors to uh, developing, writing, or debugging uh, for the rapid uh, evolution. So in most of the software, sorry, in most of open source projects, uh, they didn't uh, do much about the QA in upstream. Uh, sometimes sometimes the, up, the upstream code base may not be very stable or uh, stable or easy for user uh, to, to use them. So actually the good uh, QA process will uh, make the open source project more stable and uh, rapid uh, development. Um, so what's the OpenStack QA? Uh, the OpenStack QA defined as uh, develop, maintain, and uh, initiate tools and plans to ensure the upstream stability and the quality of the open stack. And it's uh, release readiness at any, any point during the release circle. Um, the open stack QA project team is made of uh, multiple pro projects, uh, which each run independently towards the goal of the project team to make the open stack more stable. Um, so to understand what's the OpenStack QA, uh, I first uh, introduce the OpenStack CI, a continuous integration uh, workflow to how to support the QA process uh, and uh, what happened when you do code changes in OpenStack projects. Um, in OpenStack, um, that is, it used a score code review, syst review system. Uh, instead, uh, directly submit code to the version control system. Um, the developer uh, first submit the code into the code review system. And then it will trigger the, the check test. And the check test pipeline is uh, do some uh, like uh, unit test and fun functional test uh, to score the the code changes. Uh, if get the uh, field uh, feedback, they will get back to the developer as soon as possible to to check the log what what have wrong in the code changes. If it passed, uh, it will go next for the call code reviewer to review the code. Uh, only get the check test pass with plus one and uh, the call code, uh, more than two call code reviewer get the plus two score. Um, the code uh, also ready to be merged. Uh, then it will trigger the 
git uh, pipeline test. Um, the git test uh, refer to the process of running test uh, before a developer's patch set is merged. Uh, and the intent of running the test is to validate that the new changes uh, will not introduce new bugs. Also do some regression testing uh, in the gate, uh, which to make sure that the changes uh, merging uh, will not uh, change the behavior since the test was last running in the check test. Uh, also, some projects also do some uh, additional tests in the Git queue. Um, after the Git test passed, um, the new code changes will be merged to the washing control system. Uh, after that, there will be also some process uh, in the post queue. I didn't show it in this uh, diagram. Uh, once the code land to the version control system, uh, the post queue do something like uh, to publish the documentation to the live uh, website. Uh, also, uh, to implement that workflow, uh, the OpenStack instructor consistent with uh, the workflow. Uh, showing the picture, first the, the developer, you will submit the changes via the git review command line to the code review system, we call it Garrett. Uh, the Garrett is uh, uh, connected with the git repository. Uh, in OpenStack, the Git repository is mirrored on the GitHub and uh, Git OpenStack.org. Uh, when the changes submit to the Garrett, Garrett, there is also uh, a, a trigger the check and the Git pipeline is managed by the Zoo. Zoo is also a tool. Uh, to manage the git check pipeline in OpenStack. And uh, the tool is communication with the Jenkins master uh, uh, through the Gilman server to start the job, and the job is running on the Jenkins sliver. Uh, it's managed by the, another tool called the, called the NodePool. Uh, NodePo is a service used by the OpenStack to manage the manage and deploy a pool of DevStack images on the real cloud server. is used to use for the OpenStack testing. Um, so based on the based on the Open Stack CI workflow. Uh, the QA testing is automated triggered by the uh, check and git pipeline uh, when you submit a patch uh, into the code review system. So what kind of tests running in the git uh, pipeline? Uh, there is a bunch of testing. Uh, jobs running in, in, in the Git testing. First is uh, Python unit test. Uh, we separate the unit test with many Python environment uh, version like the Python 2.7 and the Python 3.5. Uh, we also have some uh, stale rules uh, checker to verify the code styles. And uh, also, the biggest part is called the, sorry, the biggest part is called the dev stack and the tempest, uh, which these two 
two type of tests is running on the real OpenStack cloud environment uh, to verify the OpenStack function and the API works. Uh, to implement the OpenStack QA uh, testing process, there's a lot of QA projects uh, maintained under the OpenStack QA repository. Uh, like the template is the OpenStack integration testing suite, uh, and the dev stack is a series of uh, extensible script used to quick bring up a complete OpenStack environment. Uh, based on the latest version of the everything in the Git uh, master. Uh, also, hacking is for OpenStack style guide, guide, guidelines. Uh, Granite, Granite is a testing harness, harness to execute the OpenStack upgrade process between different releases. Uh, it used DevStack to perform the initial OpenStack uh, install and then work through the upgrade uh, for each project. Um, also, the OpenStack Health and the Stack Wave is are the virtualized tools to uh, show the test result and test uh, status. Okay, uh, next I will give some uh, quickly introduce of the most important tools we use uh, in OpenStack QA and uh, uh, CI for the better testing. Uh, I will introduce following test tools, uh, the dev stack, tempest, subunit to circle, OpenStack health, uh, elastic recheck, and uh, stack weights. Um, for the dev stack, um, dev stack is a series of uh, extensible scripts used to quickly bring up a uh, complete uh, OpenStack environment based on the latest version of everything from Git master. Uh, it is used uh, interactively as a development environment, also as uh, uh, much of the OpenStack project's functional testing. Um, the DevStack's mission is to provide and maintain um, the tools used for the installation of the OpenStack uh, from the source. Uh, it's suitable for the uh, development and for the QA testing. Um, DevSec has a bunch of comfortable scripts. Uh, you can just install it with a simple configuration for some sanity testing. Also, you can with a large uh, configuration to uh, deploy a uh, like OpenStack uh, cluster. Um, um, in OpenStack QA, uh, the dev stack is a base of to create a real OpenStack environment for the testing. Uh, I think most of the OpenStack QA testing is based on the dev stack. Uh, and uh, next is Tempest. Tempest. Um, Tempest is a set of uh, integration test suite uh, uh, against a live OpenStack cluster. Uh, Tempest has a lot of tests for the OpenStack API validation and uh, scenario testing. Also has other specific tests used for to uh, validating uh, OpenStack deployment. 
um, like I mentioned, the dev stack is to deploy an uh, open stack environment, and uh, the tab paste is running test against on the dev stack. Uh, the open stack QA team uh, deployment and maintain the the core tab paste library and the plugins. Uh, also, some call OpenStack uh, service test cases like NOAA, uh, Neutral. Uh, all other OpenStack service projects uh, maintained by their own test cases in their own test uh, repository. Uh, next one is the OpenStack Health. OpenStack Health is a dashboard uh, for visualizing the test result of the OpenStack CI jobs. Uh, there are currently about uh, 12,000 uh, jobs run in the check Git pipeline daily. So uh, it's a big number of jobs for, for the developer to just to to check the log. So it's very important uh, for developers to use uh, virtualized tools to check the job status. Uh, OpenStack has uh, two part. Uh, first one is uh, some Python DB API uh, to query the test result from the uh, database. And uh, another one is the uh, front end JavaScript to generate some chart and uh, diagram. Uh, the OpenStack Health uh, is the resource of OpenStack Health is from the subunit to circle and the uh, elastic research, recheck. Uh, Subunit to circle is a uh, tool uh, for storing the test result date in a circle database. Uh, it used for the OpenStack health to generate the virtualized uh, result. Also, Subunit to circle provides a DB schema and a Python API for uh, interacting with the database. Uh, currently, the OpenStack instructor team maintain a MySQL database server, and all the test re results is stored in the MySQL server, and it's also public uh, to query the result. It only maintains the six months test result. Mm. Uh, this chart is shows how the subunit circle works. Uh, as I mentioned in the OpenStack CI workflow, uh, the test, uh, the individual test is running on the Jenkins Liver node. Uh, and uh, the Jenkins master through the SSH to uh, get the test result and uh, uh, store it in the log server. Uh, when the test is uh, finished, it will trigger the Gilman uh, server uh, and the Gilman su subunit worker will query the, the subunit test result and convert it into the uh, circle stored into the MySQL database for OpenStack Health to use. Uh, next is the uh, Elastic uh, Recheck. Uh, elastic, elastic Recheck is designed to answer the question, uh, have you seen this uh, bugs or uh, errors recently? Uh, it leverages the uh, Elastic Search to identify the failures uh, with known fingerprints. Uh, it contains a repository of Elastic Search. 
uh, queries with known failures. Uh, it has two parts. One is a bot which can watch the changes and uh, reports to identify the failures by the uh, by the friend fingerprint and uh, report to the Garrett and RC. Uh, another one it has a dashboard uh, which shows the failures by the categorization. Uh, th this is uh, the dashboard of the Elastic Recheck. Uh, you will see the frequency, frequency of the uh, the heating of those bugs. For example, this bug is uh, eight fields in in the last uh, twenty four hours and. Uh, uh, 22 fields in the last 10 days. Uh, another one is uh, a tool called the Stackways. Uh, we have this tool is to virtualize uh, the individual CI test results. Um, the high level is show the uh, test jobs running time and uh, how many test cases it's it's run run and uh, how many field how many skipped also you can go into the each test to check uh, each test kick uh, each test case uh, running time and uh, which one is failed I have a quick demo to show how OpenStack QA to uh, monitor the the test uh, status. Uh, it can be uh, accessed by anyone. You can check this uh, website link. This is a website of the status dot uh, openstack uh, doc. Uh, there is a lot, uh, a lot of uh, things. First one is the zoo. Zoo, zoo is uh, the the management of the about the check and git uh, and the post pipeline. You can see all the check test status and the gig test status from this page. Also, the the, the this one is the uh, uh, elastic rechecks re I mentioned uh, in the slides. And uh, this is uh, the live status. I also say this bug is showing frequently in this uh, time. Uh, next I mentioned is the OpenStack Health. Uh, OpenStack Health uh, is a dashboard uh, that shows the test result of the open science jobs. Um, it's implemented by the JavaScript, so you can check some status on the chart. Also, there's a bunch of job failures by the rate. That 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 is the most of the uh, OpenStack QA team to monitor the test result.
Uh, next part, I will give some uh, tips about uh, how to leverage the OpenStack way uh, in your own open source project. Uh, first tip is try to understand the importance of the QA in the open source project. I think uh, some of the open source project, project didn't uh, uh, care too much about testing in the upstream. Uh, it's very important for the project. It can make the code base very stable. Also, the next one is um, all the CI and the QA process in the OpenStack is also open source. Uh, this kind of uh, tools and uh, process you can all get from the OpenStack website. Uh, you can use it for your own uh, open source projects. Next is a uh, tools I mentioned uh, earlier. All, all is open source. Uh, I think the dev stack and the tempest is most uh, specific for the open stack uh, things, but the other tools uh, not not specific to the uh, open stack. It can be reused to other projects. Uh, Yes, that, that, that is all my talk uh, today. This is all the things you can get from the website about the QA OpenStack. Uh, and this is my contact information, the email, and the RSC free note nickname. OK, thank you. Uh, any questions?